Downtown Charleston, South Carolina aquarium staff are responding to a wildlife emergency. This adult loggerhead has been struck by a boat, leaving a deep and potentially fatal wound. It's all about timing. Trained veterinarians and volunteers are in a hurry to give this animal treatment. Just one of many threatened animals caught in the wake of our population's growth, it now relies on these rescuers to save its life. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Justin. Hey, how, are you doing? how are you? Good, good, good. Good to see you. So, yeah, this is Kelly Thorvalson of the South Carolina Aquarium. Uh, she manages the Sea Turtle Rescue Program and the Sea Turtle Hospital, which we're in right now. So, Kelly, could you just show us around? Like, what, what do you have right now? Absolutely. We have some really interesting cases. We can look at uh, the little green sea turtle. It's our newest patient. Uh, while Kelly shows me around the hospital, it is clear to see that there are plenty of turtles in need of help. There was a big cut on a rear limb, too, so that's no doubt a shark. Yeah. Um, so wow. it's not real pretty, yeah. but at least she's got something. Yeah, definitely wouldn't have made it if she wasn't picked up. Yeah. Wow. So uh, what is the Sea Turtle Hospital, and how did it get started? Well, the South Carolina Aquarium opened in 2000. It wasn't until after opening that we learned there was a need for sea turtle rehabilitation. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, they are the permitting agency for sea turtles in the state, and they approached us to see if we were interested in helping a sick turtle at the time. So as conservation is central to our mission here, it made sense that we get involved helping these threatened and endangered species. What would you say as far as the cases that come into the Sea Turtle Hospital, what, what are some of the, uh, the big causes for those strandings? Well, the top cause of stranding is debilitated sea turtles. These animals wash up with no trauma, nothing that we can find is the root cause of illness. Uh, they're just absolutely emaciated, um, horrible blood work. They're really on death's door. So that's about 25% of our, of our strandings. Right below that are boat strikes. Wow. So sea turtles are, are air breathers. When they come up to the surface of the ocean to take a breath, they often come into contact with boats. And these boat strikes are often fatal to, to sea turtles, but certainly they're the lucky ones, you know, strand alive and make it into our hospital. Wow. Back at the hospital, we check in with a few patients in their tanks. We find that that boat struck turtle we saw earlier not only lived, but is making a healthy recovery. Her boat strike injury would likely have been fatal if left in the wild, but under the care of aquarium staff, it's been healing nicely. Miss Royal must wait until she's deemed healthy enough before she'll be released back into the wild. But for others, their lucky day comes in the form of one last physical. Although many of these animals found their way to the hospital through misfortune at the hands of humans, we can only hope that while here, they can serve as ambassadors between our two species. And when they finally get to return to their ancient home in the ocean, we all can celebrate that great wonder of life.